Welcome back to Terraria 1.3. So, went through a couple more Moon Lords and I haven't opened the bag yet. Because I don't really know what's in the bag. I do know... Okay, so I know the Portal Gun. I know the Meow Mirror. I know... Isn't there like a... I don't even know. Isn't there another summoner weapon? I don't know. But, hopefully we get the Meow Mirror. Or any other melee weapon. If there's another melee weapon to get. Let's see here. Holy shit. I got Senx's items too. <laughs> oh! Legendary Star Wrath. What the hell is this? Oh my god, my ears. That's loud. Holy shit, that hurt my ears. Uh, that seems like an upgraded version of the, uh, what's the star? Whatever the other star sword's called. Hold up, let me sell some things. I don't want the Senx armor, to be honest. But uh, I'll sell this. So we got a special episode. We're doing, we're doing this baby right here. The Frost Legion. Uh... Is there anything else I can sell? I'll keep the wings, I guess. I'll keep all of this, I guess. Hold up. Nah, I can sell the... This, right here. That, I will sell. Luminite, I will put away. Let's put the Luminite in here. Okay, so. And I gotta put the Sanks armor away, because this is gonna be annoying to have cluttering my inventory. Warding senses wing. I have two of them. Alright, so they're both exactly the same. So we'll open this up, and we'll just toss some stuff in here. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find my master outfit now, but I think I I think this is good right here. I have the cultist robes which I bought from the uh, merchant, and I bought, got this from uh, something in the desert. I don't even remember what it's called, but uh, I have this beautiful sword here just for the frost legion. But yeah, like I said, let's open up Rusty's treasure bag. So we got this this right here. It seems like it can do like a billion DPS. That's not fair. All right, uh, what the hell is this? Last prism, fire a life form disintegration rainbow. What in the fuck? Oh my, that's a party right there. That's a party in your hand. And we got the SDMG. I remember this gun. This was like, this used to not be able. You can, you weren't able to get that weapon. But I guess this update they added it in. So we're doing the Frost Legion. But wait, is it about to be nighttime? Hmm, should we do the Frost Legion or should we do... Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do the snow thing because I did just like go through them a couple times to get this and get some trophies. But let's do this, shall we? Let's go against the Frost Legion. And we're getting festive. We're using this beautiful sword here. And uh, let's see if I can find the monster that gives you the item I'm talking about. Oops. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, God. He's starting to come over here. Let's see if we can find it. It's a weird looking dude. He's, he's like... He has like a black, black colored face of some sort. But uh, until the Frost Legion arrives, we will look for this enemy. What the hell? I don't see any. I don't see any of them. Let's do this. Where is? I want to test out this sword. Blood Moon is rising too. Are you kidding me? Get out of here! All right, let's just head back then. Let's head back. We got the Blood Moon and we got. I'm gonna drink some water. Hold up. We have the Blood Moon and the Frost Legion coming all at once. So, uh, I've been using this setup right here. This little setup for with the, the Pumpkin Sword. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Now, I want to talk about the Frost Legion. There's a reason why I want to do them. I want to talk about... I want to talk about these guys. Now, they are the only event in the game to not have a mini boss. And I hope for 1.3.1, which is going to be an update about w the wiring system... I really hope they add in a mini boss to this event. It seems so left in the dust, like the the lost brethren, like no one cares. And I don't. It's a really cool. It's an interesting, interesting little thing to say the least. A little interesting event to say the least. And there's no there's no mini boss for it. I feel like they're missing some opportunities to have an abominable 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 snowman. Am I saying that right? And I really feel like it should just be implemented very soon. At least if they don't add it into like 1.3.1. .1. Add it in in like, uh, what's it called? In a, a future Christmas update, I guess. Because that would make more sense. But, you know, maybe even give it some own, some of its own drops. Because it's really like the, the just leftover leftover event that doesn't have anything really new added in but all the other events they got some stuff even the blood moon got some stuff so i don't really see why it doesn't really add anything to this missed some missed opportunities but it'd be cool to see 
a boss for this event in the future. Hopefully they do that and don't just leave it how it is. Cause that would be sad they just left it in the dust like that. We're gonna try out the sword. And I don't think any enemies really stand a chance. <laughs> it's so loud! Holy hell. Like, I don't even know why would anyone would try to fight me right now. Like, it's over. You come near me, it's over. Get the hell out of here. This is like, is this even expert mode anymore? We've gotten to the point of an expert mode where everything isn't that bad. I guess the Moon Lord is kind of bad, but since I, I'm able to just straight up cheese him now, he isn't too bad. He's still really hard. I tried it, like, two attempts at fighting him without this little cheap shit I've been doing, but it's actually really hard. He still does a good amount of damage, but, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever, we still beat him. That's all that matters. So let's see if we can get uh, all the banners. So what do we, we got? Stabby. So we don't need to kill the stabby ones anymore. We need to kill the snowballers. Is that what they're called? Snowballers? I don't know. We can kill the other ones. The one with the gun and the one with the snowballs. I think they're called snowballers. Yeah, they are. I got it right. I was right the first time. Alright. This whole eruption is fair. I shouldn't even use this. I feel like I'm doing work is too easy. I'll use this! Okay, maybe I won't use that either. What can I use? What's a kind of weak weapon? I, I, Alright, we'll stick with this. We'll stick with this baby. Oh, don't walk on that. We'll stick with the, the good old... What's this called? Demonic Christmas Tree Sword. Which is also, like, I feel an underused weapon because it's not really that good. It doesn't have an automatic swing. But yeah, after this series is over, which is gonna be soon, maybe next episode. Because uh, I don't think I'm gonna do the... The pumpkin... The, what's it called? Frost Moon event. Because I already did it like 10 times. Uh, off camera, and I, w I wasn't gonna record it, but then I was like, eh. eh, I had troubles beating it. Well, not really beating it, more than uh, surviving the Ice Queen, just straight up and not like doing any cheap shit. And then I did it with doing the uh, little this setup over here, the pumpkin, the pumpkin thing setup. And, I'll just... and then that just made like easy work of her. But yeah, so now let's. Get rid of everyone. We're gonna store some items. Now, for the next episode, the finale, which should be next episode, I do have something planned. And I don't want to speak about it too much. You guys will see it. But, I need to set up some stuff for it. So, I don't know. Where? I think I'm gonna go to the ocean and set it up. So, uh, I'm not gonna say anything about it, but I am gonna do some actions in this episode. I might reveal things about it, but I need this. Man, I got 800 snowballs. What is going on up here? That's your guys' problem. I'm out of here. <laughs> We're gonna go to the right. Let's just slowly head over here to the right. Past the lunatic cultists. Over towards the ocean. Uh, do I have blocks? I should. Well, there should be blocks already over there. I really like this. I look very cool in this outfit. Oh, I wanna change all my armor to be solar flare and when i say that i want all my uh dye to be solar flare which we can make that because i do have a lot of extra are they here yeah they are here okay let's get out of here before my dudes kill them i don't want to do that all right so i'm gonna cancel these guys for now and then i'm gonna resummon them all right so we're gonna head over here i just gotta make sure a bunch of things are set up make sure this is uh viable what I'm doing. Eh, it seems okay. It seems okay to me. Can I place this? I can. This seems really far to be doing this, though. Hmm. It's a very far distance from here to there. Hmm. But yeah, so the next playthrough after this, I am going to continue the multiplayer one. I don't know if I'm going to do it multiplayer anymore. It seems too much of a hassle because the servers are like straight up like jank for me and Ryan. So I might just do it. Continue it single player and see if I can just beat it as a summoner. Because I haven't done a summoner playthrough and I really want to. Uh, I'm not doing straight up full summoner playthrough like uh, where I can only use summoner items. Because some to summon in minions you use magic. So my my uh, my theory on that, not really theory, but how I see it is if, I, if I'm using mana, then I'm allowed to use other mana weapons. I'm not going to roleplay and just use nothing but that. But... Uh, that playthrough will also have another playthrough going through, and it's gonna be the playthrough I was talking about, the fishing only playthrough, and I wanna talk about it, I'll talk about more when the actual playthrough starts, but I wanna talk about it here in this episode, 
we, what the goal is, is I can only do things fishing. Now what that means, if I want a weapon, I gotta fish for a weapon and see if I can get that. Or if I wanna like make armor, make pickaxes and stuff, I gotta fish for ore. So once I like get ore, get a get ore to make a pickaxe, then I can actually like start mining blocks and things. Well, I'm gonna mine blocks, but that's when I can actually start mining ores and other things. And if you guys get the idea from there, but it can be a very interesting playthrough, especially with the type of weapons you can get from just fishing. Like you can, there's the anchor you can get in hard mode. I don't know. I don't think the playthrough is gonna be like a full playthrough. I think we're gonna go into like I beat one hard mode boss at least. Because once you get into hard mode, you can fish for uh, fish for crates and you can get a bunch of ore from just using crates. And I think I'll go until I beat one mech boss because I feel like it just gets pretty unviable past that point. No, yeah, actually no. I feel like the challenge is gonna be the first mech boss, and I'm not doing it in expert. I'm doing normal mode because expert mode would be too much of a hassle. It'd be impossible to kill the wall flesh with like weapons from fishing. But yeah, there's some interesting fishing weapons you can get. Uh, you can get the the blade tongue, really good weapon. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any paladins down here. Get the paladin hammer or some something just for shits and giggles. But it gets like unviable after a while, especially in extra mode, because the uh, what was it called? Wall flesh is impossible in extra mode. I had so much trouble in this playthrough. I had to use grenades to beat them. The B grenades. Which, uh, which is fun to get because I only farm for like years to get all those grenades. And we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do in that playthrough. I feel like it's gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be a new take on a uh, on uh, my type of playthroughs, especially since coming off of this playthrough where I just like run in and beat the hell out of everything uh, face first and just take defend everything I can and not take that much damage and. That playthrough is gonna be like, ooh, we're gonna be patient. We're gonna get everything. And it's gonna be more of a. It's gonna be a more unique series, I guess you can say. I'm gonna see if I can, like, zoom in. Well, you'll see. You'll see. You guys will see. Hopefully, I can make it a little bit more unique than a regular. Another regular Terraria playthrough. But, uh, yeah, that's. That's one thing I want to do. And then maybe in the future, we'll do other challenge runs. Like maybe a specific weapon only, like. I don't know, maybe like a spear only run or uh, like a bow only run a bow only a bow only run would be pretty cool but yeah that's gonna end off this episode we take on the frost legion the next episode should be the finale and i gotta go prep some stuff for that and i'm very excited for it can i actually hit him through the wall no i can't this can though haha <laughs> is there any paladin we'll look around i'll give it like a minute before we end off because i want to see if i can spot a paladin Get the hell out of here. Do you know what's good for you? That's not what I meant to do. Alright, that didn't, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. That did, though. I'll take that. What the hell? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? That guy's crazy. I don't see any paladins. I don't see a single paladin. How's that guy over there? There's a sword over there. Hmm. Is there any paladins anywhere? They're scared. They hear, they hear me, like, coming down... They hear me down the hallways, they just hear explosions and shit happening. They're like, I don't want none of that. I'm gonna stay down here. This is a really big dungeon. It's extremely big. I don't think I explored the whole entire dungeon yet either. Uh, cause there's not too much in the dungeon to be looking for. So yeah, that's gonna end off this episode. See you guys next time. Be ready. Be ready for the finale. It's gonna be crazy.